Hi everyone! This video is just so exciting! I am gonna be speaking about my perfect bag from the 21K collection and it is one of the most wanted bags from this collection which is so exciting! I am so happy to be able to show you this bag and compare also with the mini lambskin square so this is so exciting! So come along with me because it's gonna be so fun and I'm gonna try to give you the most details as possible so I really hope you enjoy this video! If you don't know who who I am. My name is Georgia and I am the owner and operator together with my husband Hunter of Red Deluxe which is a small resale business and we get the opportunity to see the most gorgeous bags in the world because we truly 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 are very selective in what we get. So for an example those bags in the background are from Red Deluxe and I love to extend the privilege of seeing all those gorgeous bags to you so this is awesome. That's why I love this YouTube channel. Before I get started I also forgot to let you know make sure to subscribe to this channel that is the way that you get notified whenever we get new videos in so make sure to turn on the notifications button and also leave a comment below if there is something that you want to see a bag that you want us to compare size color or whatever I am taking requests just make sure to leave in the comments and we will definitely try to get your request on so without further ado let's get into my perfect bag and again I am going to be making a comparison between the mini lambskin square. The color that we have here is a perfect because it's just the most basic color. They came in a couple of different colors. We have it in black. That It does look blue sometimes because of the iridescent. So here she is. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. So one of the first things to notice whenever you see this bag is that it is a double chain. So you're able to use it as a double chain or a single chain. So that's the first thing that I noticed whenever seeing this bag. The next thing that I noticed whenever I see this bag is that she actually looks really blue. Can you tell? But it's black. Chanel labels it as black, but let me put a black bag together with it. So this is the difference. Doesn't it look navy to you? Because to me it does a lot. It's black but it's labeled as black. I see it as navy blue. Second thing that I noticed whenever seeing this bag is the logo, the CC is bigger than a regular um, mini square. You see, the CC is bigger. The third thing that I noticed is that the my perfect bag is slightly bigger than the square. And I would be happy to also compare with a rectangular for you to see what it will look like. But I believe that my perfect is more square than rectangular uh if it is not perfect square then it is a rectangular duh anyway so here it is the comparison with the square and let me get a rectangular for me to show you one moment and here is a comparison with the rectangular so the my perfect bag is in between of the square and the rectangular classic size so i believe that my perfect is the perfect between size of the square and rectangular and something else to notice about this bag is aged gold. So it's not um, shiny gold, it's aged gold and I love it. The other thing to notice is this detail on the sides, which is so pretty in my opinion. Let me do a close up. It's not really focusing, but can you see how pretty this detail is? So I haven't played with this bag much yet, but let me see what this strap does. Got it. So you're able to extend the strap as much as you want. This is literally amazing, guys. I totally understand the hype of this bag because it is truly amazing. It comes with a pink color, blue, and a green. So the colors that come is very soft and pretty. Love it so much. So something that I noticed about this bag that is a pretty common sense is that a lot of them come very big uh, creasing over here. But even though it has really big crease over here, they are completely sold out. Like even those, nobody's returning them. So this is really a big deal bag. It's being talked about it all over. Another detail that I want to show is the sides right here. It has a CC on it. This side is different than the other side. So cute. So this is the bottom of the bag. I just want to show you all the sides. So cute! The CC has a little mark right here. It's a turn lock. And here is the inside. 
So here's the tag. That's the tag. Retail price is 4,400. And here is the inside of the bag. I just wanna open, but also be gentle with the bag. And it does have the microchip. So the interior is not leather. It's, it's not leather. Can you see it right here? And that's the heat stamp. Just showing you all the information as possible. That's the heat stamp of the bag. So cute, guys. I am in love. I may post a mod shot on Instagram because you girls have been loving the mod shots. And I'm just so happy about it because we really take so much time on it to make mod shots and make it so visible for you what it will look in real life. Another detail that I will mention is that the diamonds are bigger in the My Perfect bag than the regular mini. Can you see it? So I would say this is just like a amplified version of the mini square, kind of with a more rectangular shape. Something else to mention that there is a difference is the strap. The strap of the regular mini is thicker than uh, the My Perfect bag. That tends to happen a lot with seasonal bags. Seasonal bags usually tend to change on the thickness of the strap. That's something that Chanel usually does. So that's another difference as well. The other difference that I can find is that the strap of the My Perfect bag is on the sides, not on the top like the mini square is. I'm just trying to show you all the differences that I can find of a mini with the My Perfect bag just because if you're trying to find this bag or look to buy this bag and you don't get the opportunity to see in person, this is gold! Another difference, of course, I've already mentioned. So inside is not leather, so that's another difference between a regular mini. It has only one, one pocket that back pocket right there. It does not have a back pocket on this side. That's another thing to notice. Let's talk about prices of retail. With all these price increases, it's kind of like hard to even remember prices. I should, but sometimes I kind of have a brain freeze or something. So uh, retail price of the mini square is 4,200. This is a 21B mini, so it's pretty recent. And retail for the My Perfect bag is 4,400 plus taxes. However, I have already seen it going way above retail because it's sold out in a flash. So that's something to notice whenever getting on the resale market, you will have to expect to pay premium prices for those beauties. They are just going very expensive and I'm sure the price is gonna increase more and more. Nothing that I can do about it. So I'm trying to get every single detail as possible. Something else that I can notice is that on the side, it doesn't have that regular folding shape of a classic, can you tell? That's also something else to notice. This video is short, but I hope it was efficient to you. So this is a comparison between my perfect bag and the regular mini square. The reason why I mentioned more the mini square than the rectangular is because I truly believe this is closer to the mini square than the rectangular. Do you agree with me? Let me know your thoughts about this bag. I would love to know if you love it, if you hate it, if you want it, if you passed. Let me know what you think. I love, 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 love to know what you think about it. And I am just having so much fun recording videos to you girls. I'm so happy to be back to having one video a week. Let me know your feedback. I mean, I would love to know what your thoughts are. I would love to know where you're at and what you want to know or whatever. I am here to interact with you. I truly appreciate the interaction. I truly love the interaction and I want the interaction. So yes, that's it for today. And I hope to see you next time. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, leave a comment below, and click a like button and show me some love. Mwah.